Father God, thank you for preserving our nation and giving us a chance to redeem her. Please put on the hearts of all the throbbing necessity of continued, consistent prayer. Lord, please anoint us to be faithful in prayer, to be faithful prayer warriors and pray in tongues when we run out of intentions. Amen. My precious family, the Lord has been asking us to pray for our nation day after day after day. I made an initial list, but it just didn't cover everything that I was aware of that was going on. So here is the new one, and I wanted to share it with you. Father God, please keep our military safe in their operations and keenly aware of the stealth of the enemy and expose where he is hiding and what he has planned. Please expose and identify foreign and domestic enemies and their plots against our nation to the right military officials. Expose all the traitors in both the private and public sectors in our nation. Expose where the enemy is hiding underground in our country and at all our borders. Holy Spirit, please help our military think out of the box and prevent an invasion, especially from underground or other disguised locations in our heartland and on our borders. Father, protect our marine borders, especially in the east, south, and west from stealth invasions, and make our men keenly aware through the Holy Spirit where danger is lurking. Please expose the cells and operatives and their plans who are living on our land in disguise as peaceful citizens. Father, please protect the International Space Station from enemy forces and weaponization. Put an end to the corrupt powers of Big Pharma and the medical community and all branches of industry that exploit the private and public sectors. Please confound the worldwide health chip and raise powerful resistance against it to totally bring it down. Father, please raise up men and women with new enforceable laws to protect freedom of speech and bring down the lying media never to rise again and to raise up truth-telling media to replace them. Father, please restore our constitutional rights and the rule of law. Raise up citizens and judges who will fight against all unconstitutional actions in our nation. Please raise up stealth warriors against all forms of pornography, all child porn and trafficking to recover the innocent and prosecute the guilty. Father, please release hidden documents and leads to law enforcement agencies that expose those who are compromised in our government, military, and bring them to justice. Father God, please protect our coastlands, tectonic plates, and the new Madrid fault line from man's manipulation. Father God, please protect long-range missiles from accidental firing or being senselessly deployed. Please protect our power grids from attacks of the enemy. Give law enforcement the upper hand in discovering planned attacks. Please protect us from weaponized diseases and weaponized cures and poisoning our water systems and weapons of mass destruction, including all radioactive devices, and put an end to the government and media manipulation of the facts concerning diseases like COVID to destroy peace in our nation. Please put an end to the black hats using weaponized weather control. Lord, please wake up the sleeping Americans to take responsibility for their government, to recognize conspiracies as real and not theory, and to fight against evil. Give them a healthy fear of detention camps. Father, please put a final end to the CCP, the Chinese Communist Party, and all their agendas to destroy America. Lord, please stop the foreign and domestic black hats from manipulating the financial system. 
Please thwart the attempts to cause a false famine and manipulated scarcity of food and medicines in our nation. Father God, please stop any attempt to launch a false flag event in our nation or abroad, including making America look guilty for something she didn't do. Please put an end to these abominations in our country. Abortion, Satanism, pornography, drugs, trafficking, as well as hostile Islamic groups. Father, please stop the poisoning and experimentation with chemical, electronic, and biologic weapons on the people. Put an end to such places that teach inhumane war techniques, such as the School of America that trains our national and foreign operatives in crimes against humanity on our own soil. Father God, you appoint rulers for the people. And we know that Donald Trump is the president of this nation. Please restore him to his rightful place and remove the traitors and all their influence and let them be prosecuted, sentenced, and punished. Father God, please lead and raise up President Trump to declare repentance as a first and foremost before any other national agenda, such as MAGA, Prosperity does not make a nation great. Military might does not make a nation great. And atheism destroys a nation. Only God can make a nation great and protect it from destruction. For it is written, unless the Lord builds the house, they labor in vain who build it. Unless the Lord guards the city, the watchman keeps awake in vain. But first we must repent for all the harm done to other nations, as well as our own, and especially the harm done to God for allowing religious persecution and cancel culture in our society and educational system. Please strengthen President Trump against every attack and allow only true, dedicated Americans to surround and work for him Thank you for raising up great intercessors to pray behind him for what is right. Please, Jesus, wake up the American people that are asleep so they will understand the great danger our country is in. Thank you, Lord, for hearing the cries of our heart. Amen. And then I asked the Lord, is there anything you'd like to add? And he began to speak. Yes, beloved, there is one thing that will hold back the very worst of what can happen in America, and that one thing is repentance. You and other prophets have consistently called for repentance, but your cries have not reached the president. Those cries are for him to lead national repentance for the sins of your former governments, the sins of the people, and the sins of the military. Long and hard I have cried out to America to repent, and much is being done to undo the horrendous crimes against children and humanity and the drug trade. But I still need repentance on a grander scale. If it is not forthcoming, what you have seen will come to pass. And here he's talking about my last message that talks about the Chinese occupation of our country. It is not enough to announce, make America great again, Jesus continued. I have asked you to make America repentant. Unless this repentance is modeled on a national level, unless it is modeled on a personal level, the plan still remains to humble the nation. Understand, men in power, this nation has committed atrocities beyond belief not only to its own, but to those countries it wanted to manipulate. The blood from the soil in those countries still cries out to me, and still I have not heard the sound of weeping and repentance for these atrocities. The whole nation will suffer because of them if you do not heed my call. What you have done to other countries will fall back upon your own heads unless there is true repentance. 
I am asking your president to lead a day of national repentance, a day of fasting, weeping, and reparation for the sins of your nation. And here he's talking about another day sooner than the one at the end of April. I stand ready to show you mercy, America, but I am still waiting for you to recognize and repent for the sins of your nation. In this moment, only repentance on a grand scale can change what is soon to happen. The sins of Hollywood that have gone unchecked and formed the minds and consciences of the young, promoting violence, sexual immorality, divorce, and materialism, the sins of the educational system that has introduced antichrist agendas, sexual perversion, promiscuity, exploitation of women without being stopped, the sins of abortion that have been allowed, making my babies into an item of food like cattle, the sins of the elite who have set the stage for a ruined America, the sins of the military that has committed atrocities against mankind, the sins of the medical industry that has profited off the sicknesses and even created the sicknesses in experimentation and for profit, the sins of Wall Street and the wealthy who have stolen from the poor, the sins of a society which has placed material gain above parental guidance and left their children to the state to raise, the sins of agencies that have been corrupted and betrayed the children and families, turning over the compromised to unscrupulous sex traders, the sins of the police and judicial system that have been bought off so that these crimes could go on without being prosecuted, the sins of corporate entities that have stolen, poisoned, and cheated the peoples of the world in order to control and reap gain off the poorest of the poor. America, your sins go on and on without end. Only a massive wake-up call will turn your heads around. Even then, there are those of you who will insist the truth is buried in the sand while millions around you suffer from unjust policies. How am I to release you from your indebtedness to humanity? How am I to overlook your crimes and pass them off? How am I to excuse you of these things when repentance is still a barren concept to you? when repentance is still a foreign concept to you. In truth, I cannot. Judgment must come. If only you would have listened to me crying out for you to repent of your ways months and even years ago. Do not say, make America great again. Rather say, make America repentant. And then I will hear your prayers to forestall the tragedy that is about to overtake you. I am waiting. I am listening. I care deeply for you. But financial security and prosperity are not my standards of greatness. Rather, righteousness, justice, and honesty are. Know that I love you deeply, and I am doing all I can to forestall judgment. Know that I love you deeply, and I'm doing all I can to forestall judgment, but I need for you to embrace different standards of greatness. And I am calling Donald to rise up and set the example for his people. Together, we have done wonderful things through your presidency, for you did not consider your life more important than this nation. You have made a wonderful start I want to continue with you without a further breaking of this nation. So please take these words to heart.